Good Bets and Bad Bets, The Nonsense Accumulator. One objection that might have arisen in your mind as you read this chapter is the portrayal of all projects as bad bets. Surely there are good bets and bad bets. All projects aren't the same with regard to the odds at the moment where someone says the dreaded fuck it. Well, what I hope I've shown in this chapter is that projects are bets and they can be broken down into better bets by breaking them down using working software and user research. And if necessary, the stakes can be upped by making informed decisions based on this work. So most projects start off as bets of relatively undetermined quality and can be made into better bets. But sometimes those bets start off bad and just get worse because rather than trying to shorten the odds in a sensible way, the sponsors of the project end up lengthening them to the point where there really isn't any chance of the project paying off. For a long time I knew this was the case, but I didn't have any way of seeing it that allowed me to explain it to others. Now I think I do. Some projects are bets, some projects are risky bets, some projects are nonsense accumulators. What's an accumulator? An accumulator, people who've lost their shirt on horses, please correct me, is a, multi is a bet on multiple horses, where the winnings from one, if it wins, are bet on the next one. If one of the horses loses, game over. Most projects have one long shot bet. We can deliver this project on time with the team we have. Actually, lots of projects have two long shot bets. The second is, we can deliver something valuable to our org and its customers. But so many projects then rack up the odds by adding a third and a fourth bet. Or even a fifth. We can deliver this project without talking to any of its users. We can deliver this project without talking to any of the people who know how it should work. We can deliver this project without paying for servers. The important thing to understand is that making all these bets on a project, the odds don't add together, they multiply. Chances of delivering things on time and to budget, 3 to 1. Chances of this being something valuable to customers, 4 to 1. Multiplying these odds, you get 12 to 1. Chances of doing this if you're not allowed to talk to users, 10 to 1. 120 to 1. Chances of doing this if you're not allowed to talk to the subject matter experts, 10 to 1. That's 1,200 to 1. Sure, you can argue with these odds. Well, you can argue with the precise odds, but it's nearly impossible to argue with the direction they're going in. At some point down this journey, the bet just got a lot less attractive. And if you're trying to manage, ha, manage a project like this, you have to either lay off, shorten these odds on these crazy bets by connecting with users, connecting with subject matter experts, finding money to pay for servers, or you have to recognise the lengthy odds and walk away. All projects are bets. The hard reality of bounded re rationality means that we can never think of all the potential risks and rewards of any endeavour before it's started. Because shrugging your shoulders and saying fuck it doesn't seem like a sensible grown-up approach to business, even though it's the only one available, and because the people who work on projects like to work, everyone connected with a project becomes embroiled in several games. Heads I win, tails you lose is the game that people who kick the project off play. They try to be around when the project pays off and absolutely not around when it's in trouble. The hiding hand is the game that the team trying to deliver the project play. They keep quiet about the difficulties that they see with the project because they want the work. And everybody takes part in project management theatre, pretending that if only they can carry out the ceremonies and conjure with the roadmaps in just the right way, the project will definitely be a success. There's nearly nothing a project manager, given the responsibility for delivering a project, can do about any of this. They're mostly presented with the raw fact of the project. The bet has been made, someone has said fuck it. But there are things that they can do. By talking to potential users, by making smaller bets 
on small amounts of working software, they can chop the big bet up into a series of smaller bets. By doing this, everyone involved in the project can get a much better of the idea of the odds. What aspects of the project are a safe bet? What aspects of the project are a long shot? Odds for horses are based on form. Many projects have form. Other projects have happened in the same organisation, in the same complex environment. To use another way of seeing from chapter swamp. Other projects have tried to thrive in the same swamp. Any evidence you can see, any stories that you can hear about how those projects fared is valuable information. It tells you a lot about the chances of success of your own project. Some bets are just crazy. They compound bet on bet on bet until the odds of them paying off have a lot of zeros on the wrong end. If you find yourself on such a project, you can stay and try to shorten the odds, but bearing in mind how unlikely it is that the project will succeed, or you can walk, or you can run.